Okay, I'm here with Kim and her wonderful husband, Greg. You've heard all about him in all the other videos. And if you haven't, be sure to uh, listen to or, or click on I'm crazy about my husband, right? Is uh, that the one? Yeah. yeah. I might want to check that out. Yeah, I, I was like wondering how much you paid her, Greg, to, to actually say all those nice things I'm about still you. Still making payments. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Dial. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to be talking about a topic that's very important. And one of the research findings out there is that uh, families, um, kids who do well, one, obviously, have great fathers, father figures, and mother figures who are there with them at home. But another thing they're finding mm -hmm. out uh, is, uh, is the fact that the, the, fat, the kids who do well um, have regular dinner times together. And Kim and Greg do wonderfully well at that. Uh, they, most nights a week, they, they have dinner with their six kids, and it's always a lot of fun. So, you guys, go ahead. Tell me about why did you decide to, to make this a priority in your life? Well, because I get hungry at least once a day. <laughs> uh, well, you know, we, uh, I think both of us grew up in families that had a, a regular dinner time. Uh, you know, my dad went to the office, came home, and expected to hang out with his family. And I, and I did the same thing. And Kim grew up with her, with her family having meals regularly like that. And uh, um, we just, you know, we're, everybody's so busy right now. And, you know, we got a couple of kids in college. And... Uh, in sports and who knows what all is going to happen tomorrow that I can't tell you about today but right. um, but we just feel it's important to get that connect time um, because sometimes we'll have breakfast together you know we wake up at different times but we we'll usually try to catch a breakfast together before everybody goes their separate ways but um, that must be hard it must be hard to get everyone together for breakfast it is I, I Mostly, if I if I wake up later, it actually works out better. So I, I'm doing my best to try to help that um, waking up as late as possible to, to make sure we all get together. Because, um, but the dinner time is a, a time when we can just kind of, you know, ideally, you want to have all your iPods, your iTouches, your iPhones, your i this, your i that, put in a drawer somewhere and then right. come to the table. But that doesn't always happen. Sometimes we'll we'll sit around the table and the the idea is to is to uh, connect, but sometimes our connectivity is not so much, you know, one on one, but one through one, through one, two one. <laughs> I mean, sometimes we'll sit there at the table and play chess with each other, or or words with friends, or some goofy eye touch thing, or. But at least you know the the bottom you know the the bottom line is if we can all get in one room together for 45 minutes, and. Um, and connect somehow and just talk about the day and talk about what's important and maybe decide who's going to do the dishes because I, you know, I don't want to do them every night. Right. Um, you know, that, we, we, see, we see benefit to that. So. All right. And, and again, that's the most important thing. You, you guys all coming together. Now, obviously, there might be different things people want to do. But I see you're holding your kettle corn in your hand. Is, oh is, that, is, that, is that dinner, Greg? Well, it's been dinner before. Sometimes this is a breakfast meal. It can be a quick lunch meal. We've had it for dessert. You and I have sat down and watched movies. And right. sometimes what I like to do is I'll sneak this into the movie theaters. Because I don't like buttered popcorn. Right, and, uh, right. So we'll, uh, you, you don't want to pay too much to make Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's What is it, $10 for popcorn? Something yesterday? like that. Yeah, at least. And I wanted to say, you know, when we get really busy at certain times of the year with sports, like right now we have um, sports six days a week, and a lot of times it's at the dinner hour, and um, and so it's like, well, do we want to have dinner tonight at 4:45 or at 8:30? And so not ideal for the dinner time, but we still absolutely make it a priority to all sit to get down together and have dinner whatever time that may be. Right. And so um, yeah, and one of the things that we've decided with our dinner time um, at what like we've talked about, we have some older teenagers and um, we had all the teenagers were kind of down on one end of the table and so we would find that conversations would, would get fired up with the teenagers down there and then there's another one going on down here and someone else here and so there was just a lot of chaos and confusion and so we, we actually arranged the seating and we kind of split the teenagers up so that they're not just going to connect with one another but that to just open it up with the whole family so that there's more conversation and discussion and and um, sometimes we'll share something that we learned in school that day or something uh, about the day or whatever. And so to just open up conversations so that there's not a bunch of little conversations going on, but that we can all benefit. And sometimes we even have to, to say, 
hang on, he's talking, and let's hear from him, and then we'll hear from you. Right. So, um, right. But we like to keep dinner time fun, and and um, and I like to put on something healthy to make sure that everybody gets a healthy meal that day. Uh -huh. um, because and, and sometimes that means we may not necessarily be excited about eating it. Not me. I mean, I am with the kids. But, you know, it's, we'd rather see them try to eat something healthy than, you know. And Greg's the, good. Some of the he'll stuff he'll that, eat anything. He'll eat anything I put on. Yeah, food. I learned that a long time ago. <laughs> and he says, Smart man. <laughs> you know, another, thing, another thing we'll do to, to mix it up is sometimes we'll eat out on the deck. We'll go outside and eat. Um, right. The weather's nice or... Um, you know, we can get out and kind of change the environment up. Especially, so especially now that we're, now that you don't have fifteen dogs around to to. to bother yeah, you. that's a lot of table scraps. Yeah, <laughs> we don't have any more. Right. Well, thanks, guys. I, I think it's so important what you're doing, and uh, we can see the, the the proof of it in your kids. They really are wonderfully well-adjusted kids. Thanks again.